Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, we're gonna do a tour through nature aquariums. All right, so thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs, and I'm really excited to take you on this episode through the ever popular nature aquariums and water gardens. Steve and Jono down there have been doing an incredible job getting in some of the best corals in the country, and uh, I was fortunate enough to be there after a huge unboxing the night before, so I can take you through and show you just a bit of a selection of the type of corals these guys get in, not to mention their overwhelming supply of uh, dry goods and uh, supplements and testing kits and you name it, the team there have got it. Let's jump on into the video so you can see for yourself. All right, here we are, nature aquariums and water gardens. Now, uh, like I did touch on in the intro, these guys got a big stock delivery last night and we're here till 4 a.m. So uh, let's see what we can find in store. And um, I have to admit, as soon as you walk into uh, nature aquariums, some of the freshwater displays here are absolutely mind-blowing and this one whilst it's very very beautiful is by far not the best one yet we've got some incredible ones to come check out this piece over here with the uh, driftwood sitting up on top of the tank with plants growing up there this incredibly thick uh, mossy covering down the bottom it's a good four fingers deep there these little nanos here even look incredible as well that's an ada one there and this looks like a fluval flex there got a nice little uh, water box paludarium there where they are uh, kessel lighting it up that's a gorgeous tank if one of my freshwater friends wants to make me that and bring it to me i will pay them good money because that just looks incredible i wonder how much steve is asking for that item right there but uh We'll keep on rolling because I didn't come to spend my money on freshwater tanks as difficult as it is to uh, resist doing so because uh, have a look at this piece here with the uh, floating bit of wood in the middle there. You can just see the acrylic stand under there, but uh, from a distance, it's not that easy to see. Then we come over to this absolutely ridiculous Cade freshwater system. Have a look at the number of fish in here and... Um, Holy cow, Steve did tell me that uh, this system is still adapting to the new lights. It's got some radium freshwater lights on it, but uh, let's have a look at some salty things. And here is a Red Sea uh, tank here. This one's got uh, some recordias in it. It's got some fluffy morphs in it, some zoas, some real nice soft coral display there. There's a few more dry tanks set up. And then you come over to the main display here at Nature Aquariums for Marine anyway, and have a look at the colors in these gonies and hammers and lobos, just absolutely off the charts. What a uh, stunning, stunning display tank. And uh, Steve did tell me, or maybe Jono told me that they are still working through this and making a bit of a rescape in there. So some of the pieces are just kind of scattered about, but um, man, the colors in this tank are absolutely off the charts. Have a look at even the variants of gold chalice there are crazy. The Monty's just going berserk. There's some absolutely cracking torches back there. And uh, there's a few hammers here, including a couple that have been kept aside from my good friend, Umar. <laughs> he often buys some hammers from interstate and has Jono ship them up to him. And you can see why. One last freshwater tank before we go down and check out uh, all of the dry goods and live goods downstairs. Have a look at this huge, huge uh, living piece of art that is uh, always a centerpiece when you come into nature aquariums. It's so tall. I think this, this tank would have to be eight, maybe 10 feet tall. It's got a solid two, two and a half, three feet depth of water on the bottom. And it's got obviously some really nice fish swimming down there, but it is the plants that grow up this back wall with the mist system. Those poor kessels there, they must get absolutely peppered in water, but uh, they keep on keeping on. Coming down here, we can see that uh, they're actually looking for some work. If you're looking, if you're a school kid or you're looking for, even if you're not a school kid, if you're um, someone looking for after hours schoolwork, why not apply for a job here at the Nature Aquariums and work in the industry you love? You can see this huge range of dry goods here, including a Versa. Those things are as rare as hen's teeth. There is one of those there. Um, does not surprise me, Nature Aquariums have a huge, huge online store. And whilst I'm gonna try and show you a bit of the range of their goods here, I highly recommend you jump on their website. You will find the best prices there. The guys pride themselves on having the absolute lowest prices and the biggest range. They are Australia's equivalent, I guess, of BRS when it comes to uh, online selling. And um, when you get in store, you get a little bit overwhelmed by the huge range of products, but I guess that's where websites make things a little bit easier. They do have these Seachem titles. I know I keep banging on about them, but I absolutely love those things in converting a freshwater system into a nice temporary marine tank. Of course, you can use them for freshwater setups only, but um, 
what a great little invention they are. We come on down here to uh, the aquascaping range and you can see all sorts here, dry rocks, some uh, different driftwoods, You've got some dry tanks there, all these scaping materials you would need, including that uh, Marco rock as well as the Marco glue. You can see you've got the shelves, some branches and all sorts there, all laid out for you to uh, have a bit of a ruffle through there and see what you can find. Obviously all the driftwoods and things as well. You've got the real reef rocks and branches and caves and arches and all that stuff that you would uh, need. Scooting on past here, you've got hose, you've got heaters, you've got uh, nets, you've got some uh, light fixtures there. We've got all sorts here. There is so much. You've even got some ornaments. There's Big Ben there. It's a freshwater ornament if uh, you wanted to add a, a twist of uh, English <laughs> flavor to your freshwater tank. We've got a good assortment of foods here from frozen to dry, Vitalis, tropical. Moving on over into some canister filters from Eheim and Oase. Huge, huge assortment there, but uh, let's be honest, we didn't come here to have a look at canister filters. We wanted to have a look at all of these corals and fish that came in at 4 a.m. the night before. So uh, let's get the filter on the camera and scoot in for a closer look. This is the type of uh, frags you often find at uh, nature aquariums. They've got a huge assortment of frags from all different uh, types of colonies of uh, all different types of corals. You can see Blastos, Duncans, Gonies there. Uh, they've got a good assortment there of uh, some fungias. Of course, some beautiful 24 karat gold torches. I see some nice uh, deshies there as well. Have a look at that uh, super yellow torch there. That one I'm pointing out is an absolute ripper. There are some higher end torches to come, believe it or not, as well as those gonies. We will have a closer look at the stuff on the other side of the tank in a second. But here is a little sneak peek because um, feast your eyes on the colors there are there. Good assortment of button scullies as well. Uh, over into some zoa tiles, all sorts of different zoas, some morgonies. But let's scoot on over here because uh, in this system here, we've got uh, some lobos, some torches, some crazy chalice as well. You can see the prices on the front of the glass there. That chalice there, the $150 piece, ooh, that nearly came home with me. Look at the color variances on that. We're talking a, a nice size piece as well. Some of these hammers here are absolutely stunning too. We're talking 150 bucks a piece. Some of those range from one head up to three or four. Have a little bit of a closer look at those hammers there. There's some very nice ones in there for some gold, some reverses, some uh, you name it. There's some in there. We've got some frog spawns. We've got some frammers. We've got a good assortment of elegance there. Have a look at the wall of elegance stacked in the background. Check out these torches here. They're pretty nice with the uh, gold center and the, the different colors coming through the stems. You get a better appreciation for how nice those ultra hammers are from the top. Really nice fabia there. Some more gorgeous chalice. Oh man, I'm getting a soft spot for chalice at the moment. Some beautiful frog spawns there and some nice solid greens. There's a lovely mottled hammer there. Have a look at the rainbow colors through it. That's another one that almost came home with me despite me telling myself that I didn't have the budget to buy anything <laughs> this tour. That was a difficult choice to make after uh, Nature Aquarium's got in uh, that much coral. But uh, come on over this side. There's some really nice torches there. Have a look at these gold stem with teal tips. My favorite though is those Hulk green torches, those vibrant green stems with the teal tips. I've got one of those in my tank from Nature Aquariums and it is an absolute showpiece and a very hardy coral too. So um, happy days there. Have a look at these lovely frosted rose bubble tips there. Beautiful pieces. We've got a few in there actually. It looks like some uh, some ricks as well perhaps. Uh, we'll come on, or maybe they were mini maxes. We'll come down here. We've got uh, some favia, some monty. We've got uh, some lovely red cyanarias. Very, very nice colors in those. Got some lobos there. Again, you can see the prices on the front of the glass there. Some of those big frog spawns there are only hundred bucks each. What a beautiful coral for that kind of money. Hundred dollars Australian folk. Um, and uh, this one here, these tanks are any coral in here are $40 each. Holy cow, take your pick. Look at some of these hammers in there, some of the bubble corals. $40 a piece, guys. And again, $40 Australian. We're probably talking sub $30 American. We've got some lovely torches there. We can see uh, some war corals, got some mazes, got some monties, some more chalice. It's quite a nice chalice in there, actually. Look at those. Some of those are just gorgeous for uh, $40. Wow. And I think from memory, John, I even had some sort of deal. If you bought two, you got the third one free. I could be wrong on that, but um, very, very good pricing indeed. We'll come over to the other side of the tank here. You can see some of those crazy goni frags. You will note a holy grail sign there with no torch. Fear not, we'll see some holy grail torches in a second. There's some gorgeous gold chalice there. 
Uh, we've got a bunch of uh, red goni frags into some SBS frags here, $40 a piece. I'll get a look from the top, you get a better idea of the colors, all sorts of types there. You can see all those button scullies, blastos, uh, some hammer, single hammer heads, and there's those gorgeous glitter gonies there. Those glitter gonies mixed in with some reds really give you some really contrasty colors, which um, I guess at the end of the day is what we're all after, but uh, pop on over here to get another look at that mottled hammer there, which has got yellows and greens and purples through it. You've got the gold tip elegance, you've got some more stunning chalice, some real very nice bubble corals there, some toxic bubbles. We've got some true orange or gold hammers. I've got a nice little model there for 200. Um, those gold hammers are 300, I think, are not a bad deal at all. We've got some cheaper hammers there at 60, some $60 ACANs. And there is our holy grail torches that are still opening up. I'll try to get a bit of a look at the colors for you. Personally, I like the 24 karat golds more, but um, I guess when these guys are fully open and you can see the golds and the greens through them with the blue tips, it's hard not to like them other than the <laughs> that price you got to swallow initially. But... Um, have a look at some of these frog spawns here, those reverse frog spawns. It's amazing how much they vary. Some of them have got a lot more green in them than blue. Um, all sorts of bits and pieces here. We'll come across into a tank that's a little bit cheaper, but uh, still equally as nice. Have a look at those lovely uh, yellow tip torches there, 150 per head, a nice uh, gold deshi there in the corner. Got some recordias there. Uh, we've got some beautiful uh, button scullies, 250 a head on the uh, torch, the green torch there. That's a pretty good price, I think, um, because they are absolute showpieces of corals. And um, like I said, I've got one in my tank, uh, a single head, which was quite small when I got it, but I think it's still a single head, but it's probably four times the size of when I first got it. So they do settle in and grow fairly quickly. We're talking over the space of maybe six months. And I must admit, I do like these torches next to it, these gold bars for the blue tips. Whilst not quite as bright, they do give a nice contrast against the uh, solid green. So, Maybe one of those will come up in my future, we'll have to see. Come across here, we've got a good assortment of Lobos, some pretty crazy colored ones of them in there. Some nice chalice there, look at that one. Whew. And a good assortment of morphs, um, all the colors under the rainbow in there. See some nice turbinarias, some fungias. We've got some standard green BTAs in here if uh, you wanted to give your clowns somewhere to go and uh, rustle about in. But um, all in all, a pretty crazy assortment of corals, I think. Um, no one could disagree with that. These ones are any for $40 again on this side. Holy heck, that is cheap. And then into some frags here, we've got uh, some of the pieces on the bottom of $40. All the Zoa tiles are $25 if you're looking for something a bit cheaper. Got a great assortment of uh, leather corals here at $40 bucks each. Have a look at them all in there. That's, that's good buying. You want to set up a soft coral tank. We'll have a bit of a look through some more of their dry goods here. Uh, we've got some water box filter socks, some uh, eShops filter socks. You've got the Red Sea range. You can see the Auto Aqua Top Offs, Aqua Vitro Cutters. We've got um, yeah, all the Red Sea supplements there. All the Sea Cam supplements for both freshwater and marine. But uh, let's have a quick look at some of these fish as well. We've got a good assortment there of some leopard wrasses, some huge cleaner wrasses as well. Uh, I'm not sure what that white and black guy is, but uh, he's pretty cool. Down here, looks like we've got uh, some uh, coral beauties. We've got uh, bicolor angel. There's a Moorish idol in there. Good, healthy looking fish too, I have to say. Uh, got a nice uh, blue green chromis there. You can see a nice long nose wrasse there. We've got uh, more blue green chromis. Looks like a lemon peel angel. A few clowns scattered about in there. You can see the prices of those fish on the window there. Very well priced indeed. Some gorgeous clowns here. What are these guys? Maroon clowns, a wild pair for 120. I know they get angry, but they are a beautiful looking pair of fish in there. Um, down here, oh, we've got a, yeah, a rabbit fish here doing what they like to do when they're freaking out, and that's uh, try to go camouflage. Big trigger in next to him. Let's see what's over here. Uh, we've got some blennies in there. Uh, we've got a nice uh, clown here. He's getting himself all tangled up in some bubbles, so uh, as you do, <laughs> another lemon peel angel there. All sorts of nice bristle tooth tang there. Looks like a uh, royal dotty back in with some wrasse as well. Great assortment of fish indeed. Now, I have to admit, whilst we're just looking through the last of the fish here, it is not just marine fish. There is a huge assortment of freshwater fish and freshwater plants at Nature Aquariums. They aren't just focused around marine. In fact, it's a very well-balanced store between uh, freshwater and marine. And I will 
briefly take you over and have a quick look at the uh, freshwater supplies over there, but uh, we'll just scoot past this shelf here. You can see we've also got uh, the API range of products as well as the uh, LCA range of uh, fertilizers and things for freshwater planted tanks. Um, then we go past those canister filters again, a couple of decent walls of canister filters. We'll try not to bump into Jono as we come around. You can see all of the plants here huge assortment of plants in different sizes, different colors, different types. This big stainless steel bench where they go about uh, bagging everything up ready to uh, ship out to you, of course. And if you get a quick look down here, just before we wrap things up, you can see a whole range more of freshwater plants and of course, freshwater fish as well. But uh, I think if you've got this far, you've probably got a decent idea that the range at, uh, at Nature Aquariums is absolutely massive and you need to get in and check it out yourself. All right, guys, there you have it. That is Nature Aquariums and Water Gardens. What a heck of a store that Jono and Steve run there. Absolutely impressive. If you've got any questions, comments, or feedback about either Nature Aquariums or either myself, feel free to pop it in the comment section down below. I personally reply to each and every comment on there, so it is the best way to get hold of me. And also, don't forget that on the channel at the moment, throughout this Victorian lockdown, we are running a series of giveaways at the moment. I've got an Aquatic Life RODI Buddy and a Mantis Tornado 150 skimmer that I'm giving away, so be sure to check out the other videos in this series in this series to make sure that you don't miss out on those prizes other than that guys till next time thank you so much for watching stay safe and keep reefing bye